traffic. We are closing in on two full weeks of the partial government shutdown, and many people are wondering how it will affect local families. About 25% of the government is unfunded. The U.S. Department of Agriculture falls under this category. The agency funds SNAP, also known as the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. Reporter Sonia Goins shows us how a Golden Valley nonprofit is preparing to help people just in case funding runs out before lawmakers can make a deal. We've seen a growth in use in our food shelf over the past several years. Since 1970, PRISM has helped people in the northwest suburbs get an upper hand on hunger. We would suffer throughout the months a lot of the time. This helps us out a lot and they provide a lot of food for us. More than 83,000 people in Hennepin County use a supplemental nutritional assistance program, which helps low-income people buy food. Many of those folks come to food shelves like PRISM for additional supplies. I think food shelves in our community really are the safety net of the safety net. So if the public programs like SNAP and like WIC and school meal programs are intended to address hunger, we know that they don't meet all the needs. In the last year, the Golden Valley nonprofit has seen a 20% increase in food shelf use. About 70% of the people who use the PRISM food shelf are on the SNAP program. Now, if the government shutdown lasts until the end of the month, it could cause problems. A little worried. This is the first time Delia Gaddis is yeah, using the yeah, PRISM food yeah. shelf. She's stocking up on what she can for now. It's much more beneficial for me to be able to pick my own foods and cook my own foods. Um, however, if that's what happens, what can you do? Meanwhile, officials here at PRISM are taking a day-by-day -day approach to the partial government shutdown. I'm not shocked that we will likely be impacted, but I'm disheartened. Hoping the shutdown doesn't last too long. We'll let people know what's happening, what the timeline might be, resources that they can utilize. Sonia Goins, CCX News. Both the state, Hennepin County, and local agencies have information for people needing food assistance during the shutdown, and we've put that information on our website.